phone just lit up. All right. Good morning, everyone. We are live and on the air, and we are streaming to you our WBSU graduation. And so we want to say welcome to everyone. We're going to give people just a moment to get on with us, and then we'll be uh, doing our welcoming speech and so on. Good to see the many people that are joining us this morning. So uh, it, it, I want to welcome real quickly uh, my wife, uh, WBSU co-founder, managing director, Dr. Faye Hanshu, and then our international director uh, from Africa, uh, Dr. Abednego Kamara, and they will be equally having some time here shortly. So as people are joining us this morning, I won't have time to address the chat room. Uh, but we're going to proceed with this graduation and uh, get started this morning. So uh, welcome everyone to the WBSU online graduation 2020. This year, uh, the, the year was about 1988 when God dropped it into our hearts to have a Bible college. So the journey began, which took years for the vision to be realized. We started early in 2012 with an in-house school at our church, but by 2014, Father moved us into a deeper field of education, even bringing the educational part department to our house for a while. After Dr. Fay finished her master's degree in business management, she became the administrator and graphics arts designer for an online Bible college. At the same time, I was a professor for that same Bible college. As we continue to earn more degrees in the field of theology, we relocated our ministry to Joplin, Missouri, and it was there that we started our own online school registered as World Bible School University, and shortly after, we acquired a certificate of accreditation. Although I am the founder of WBSU, we are successful today due to the endless efforts of my wife, Dr. Faye Hanshu, co-founder and managing director of WBSU. In March, 2019, we began, and within a short time, we continued growing in, into the student body that we have today. Our vision is to educate the ministerial community at large, providing a fresh way to approach the scriptures in the light of the Father's love for his creation. So we began a tuition-free educational system where the Bible is taught, but also where students can become more acquainted with the Father God of the universe. As we grow and as we continue to grow, more changes will come and even expansion will be required of us all. From a personal standpoint, I am very proud uh, of, of what has been accomplished in such a short amount of time. None of this could have taken place without Holy Spirit leading us into the green pastures of truth. To God be the glory forever and ever. Thank you very much. And at this time, I want to turn the uh, podium over to Dr. Faye Hanshu. Thank you, Dr. Bill, for that introduction. Welcome. Dr. Abendigo Kamara, our International Director over Africa. Welcome to our professors, our representatives, and our staff, all of you who are watching here on Facebook, and to our WBSU students. Wow, as I look back over this past year, and that's what I want you students to do, I want you to think back to the first day that you came to WBSU. As a new school, and from people and with people from all over the entire globe we had to get acquainted with each other and we had to learn to work together we started with four students and we have grown to an active 139 students today with many on the roster still just waiting for our lessons to be transcribed into the french language we have uh, French speaking students in Africa and they are wanting desperately to come and be a part of WBSU. 
So we have them um, enrolled and we are just waiting for those lessons to be done. We are graduating 75 students today, not counting some professors and others that I am so very proud of. And I say thank you to all of our students for working so very hard. But then after we got our Bible school started, we started planning for this graduation. We were going to have one graduation here in Joplin, Missouri, and one in Sierra Leone, Africa. And COVID-19 put a stop to that. They did not put a stop to our graduation though. So we are here together online. But it's like after COVID-19, it's like a lot of people think that we're in a totally different world a world with masks and lockdowns, a world of social distancing and stay at home orders, a world where you can no longer go hang out with your friends or you're afraid of catching a virus. Many of you parents have children who do not understand why they can't go outside and play with their friends, why they can't go to school or go to the store like they used to with mom. They don't understand why malls and restaurants are closed and why Aunt Sally or Grandma can't come to visit? We have even lost some people during this time, and it's put a stop to our first public graduation. But we look forward to many other public graduations. As you and your children grow, you, you may refer to the time before that, meaning talking about COVID-19. But now is the time to look at now time. Don't allow yourselves or your children to think about what can and what can't be. Think only about what is. Use your energy to think of the positive. Use your energy to create focus on things that will help you achieve your goals. Most successful people talk about ideas, goals, and actions. In WBSU, as professors, managing director, and founders, we are doing our best to teach you how to be successful and more importantly, how to understand Father God's heart and his love for you. If we can use this time to rebuild a world in a new way, a world with no racism, no violence, and no hate speech, what kind of world do you think we can have in 10, 15, 20 years from now? a world full of love where we can always be there for each other and we can help each other become the best that we can be. We are all in this together. So let's make our time count and live a full life of goodness and love that will never end. Congratulations, students. I am so very proud of you. My heart is bursting full of joy today because of how hard you worked to make it to this day. And as I end my speech, I will say, make today what you wish your yesterday could have been. God bless each and every one of you. Dr. Bill. Okay, thank you, Dr. Fay. Um, I'd like to now introduce kind of our behind the scenes counterpart, our board member, David Jacobs. He is on the board of trustees and secretary for the ministry. God bless you, brother David. I'd like to greet all the students from WBSU and all that took part in this graduation. I also like to uh, thank the representatives, uh, international director, Bishop. Welcome to our graduation. God bless you. Thank you, Brother David. I would now like to introduce Dr. Abednego Kamara, who is going to greet you and then give an opening prayer. He is our International Director of Africa, uh, stationed in Sierra Leone, West Africa. God bless you, Dr. Abednego. Thank you very much, Dr. Bill. Thank you, Dr. Bill. Thank you. Welcome to every one of us I'm from Africa. Um, all over the globe, we want to appreciate God for this time and uh, want to use this time to welcome all of you to our first international tradition. And uh, it's online, and we want to appreciate God. We are not missing everything. We know in such a time like this, God wanted it to be this way. So, we want to appreciate God, 
going to appreciate Father God for keeping our lives and for making this day possible. I want us to kindly pray. Almighty God, we thank you. Father God, we appreciate you. The Lord, you've used such visionary leaders. You've used the professors. You've used every staff of WBSU to teach, instruct, and guide your people through your word. And Lord, in such a day like this, as we are about to certify merit students, we pray, Almighty God, that you be with us. You will be the center of this program. And everyone watching us from their homes, wherever, in every part of the world, we pray, Father Lord, your glory and your presence be with us now and always. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Dr. Abednego Kamara. And now we are going to uh, introduce our professors, and um, and then uh, after we're done with that, then uh, and and some awards and some degrees and things. So uh, we're going to bring uh, Professor Lynn Garner on with us right now, and um, so he should be joining us here in just a moment. Um, So be patient with us. Online graduations are probably a little more uh, touchy than uh, other things. But um, <clears throat> okay. And we do want to say how grateful we are to the Lord um, for all of our students, for all of our faculty around the world. It's just such an amazing and awesome thing that the Lord has put together and guided us into. Uh, so we're just waiting now for Professor Lynn Garner. And uh, if he's not able to get on here, we will go with the next professor. Uh, okay, he has seen it, so he's going to be joining us. Um, yes. And I'll get the next one lined up. Okay. <clears throat> Dr. Faye, should I just switch the list and bring the next one on? Well, unless um, Dr. There we go. Time. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Good morning, Professor Lynn Garner. How are you, my brother? Oh, good morning. Good are we morning. Live? Are we, we live? We are live. Yes, we are live. Yes, we are live. And um, we have brought you on to introduce you. This is Pastor <laughs> and Professor Lynn Garner, uh, who is a pastor of a local fellowship. He's also a mentor of many around the world. They have many ministers who are ordained with their ministry. And he is a professor with WBSU. And uh, Professor Lynn today is receiving uh, his, uh, he has earned 205 credits with WBSU. He is receiving his Bachelor of Theology degree, as well as he is receiving his Master of Degree in Christian Counseling. And uh, so, yes, there they are. And um, Professor Lynn, we're going to give you a moment to greet the student body and just to give a word. Well, um, I want to thank you so much for all of your hard work this year. Uh, it has been a good year for everyone. And um, I'm looking forward to this next uh, semester and this next year as well. Um, I thank everyone for everything that they do, Dr. Bill, Dr. Faye, all the people in the administration. Uh, I think it's so important that we continue to do what we do and to continue to spread the gospel across the world like we do in uh, teach education uh, in such a, in the Christian format that we do. And I'm glad to be part of it. And I thank you, Dr. Bill, for everything that the hard work that y'all put in 
and uh, congratulations to all of the graduate the graduates. And yeah. uh, we're going to go make a difference in the world. And um, I'm excited to be a part of it. And I thank you so much for everything that you do. Well, we appreciate your hard work also. And um, thank you so much for being a part. Uh, and we're going to, uh, yes. Oh, um, um, Pastor Lynn, we appreciate you and we congratulate you on receiving your bachelor's and your master's degree. But on top of that, we would like to award you an appreciate as appreciation of one of WBSU professors. We want to thank you for all the dedication and the hard work that you are doing for the students and for us. And we would like to honor you with this plaque of appreciation. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's awesome. You're most, you're most welcome. And as soon as uh, everything gets finalized, we will be putting all of these things in the mail to you. Oh, wonderful. Thank you all so much. I appreciate everything that you do. And it's a privilege to be part of such a wonderful uh, place of education. Thank you, sir. All right. We'll Thank see you. you soon. All right. Love you guys. Congratulations love you. to all the uh, graduates and continue the hard work. And Dr. Uh, Bendigo, this is Professor Lynn. I know you've seen him in the school, but I just wanted to introduce the two of you. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone. All right. Bye-bye. Okay, that was Professor Lynn Garner, and this may be um, one of those things that takes a little time for us, so be patient as different professors see the login link, and uh, I know that Dr., uh, uh, I know that uh, Professor um, Glenn Hartline uh, is a veteran, doctor of veterinary medicine also, so I believe he had an emergency surgery, and I'm not sure he will be able to get on. So, Dr. Fay, I'm going to move to the next. Now, just um, hold on just one moment. Um, okay. Let's see if he's laying down here. I want to um, take now, this off. I will, be, I will be giving each one uh, a large screen view uh, from here on out when you speak. So, just letting you know. This is Dr. Glenn Hartline. As Dr. Bill said, he is a veterinarian and he has been with our school since very close to the beginning. He is um, the professor that has been with us the longest. And we also want to say that we appreciate him very, very much. And he has been working um, 16 hours a day during this COVID-19. I don't know exactly what COVID impact has on our animals, but he is right there taking care of them. Um, and we also want to, um, we also want to present him with a, an award, a plaque. Let's see, we'll get it on here. hard to do things backwards. Yes. And that is the plaque for, for Dr. Glenn, and we appreciate him very much. Sorry he could not make it today. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Faye. And uh, next, uh, Professor Rich Morton is joining us. That will take just a moment. So we're we're about halfway through the list. Okay. This is like running a television studio. <laughs> Yes, and our students love all of our professors. So Professor Rich Morton should be joining us <clears throat> from where he is.
Thank you everybody for your patience. As we get through the professors, then things will move along a lot more quickly. And this is our first online graduation. So, uh, you know, when you do anything for the first time, it takes a little finagling of the system and getting everything to work properly. Uh, so Professor Rich, and then I've got Professor Michael standing by. Okay. I think he's trying to get connected. So many students are already in the chat room and uh, just the numbers of comments are growing. I won't be able to see how many are act. Well, I can see how many are actually live with us. This has brought more people watching than when I do my programs for the week. And so it's pretty amazing. Uh, but Professor Rich, if you can hear me, uh, I hope you're able to join us at this time, Professor Rich Morton. And he also does a great job. Dr. Bell, uh, we, have professor, yeah. we have professors, we have students, we have paraprofessionals all watching in the link. Um, and I am so excited. Uh, we have representatives. Uh, Representative Philip from um, Sierra Leone is online watching. And yes. uh, Dr. Stuart Smith, one of our paraprofessionals. Uh, Miss Lisa um, Couture, who is one of our paraprofessionals. I mean, we have got uh, pastors Rick and Sheila Watts. And they wanted to know how to go on standby. You will just click on the link as soon as Dr. Bill tells you to. And uh, you can stay on that link at when he calls your name and tells you when to click on. That's how you will get on. And then we have a whole lot of people from, um, there's another pastor, Sister Melinda Gates. We see her. She's online. Um, a new student. Miss Heather McKernan, who is coming with us in, in June. I believe she's from New York. Trinita Hopkins, who is one of our current professors. Uh, I'm sorry, current students. Maybe that was a little prophecy. Who knows? Um, anyway, uh, there is um, Dr. Mrs. Edna Grant, one of my beautiful friends and representatives from Sierra Leone. And I am very excited to uh, see you on here, too. God bless you, Dr. Bill. Back to you. Okay, uh, Professor Rich Morton is having trouble getting on, so I have brought on uh, 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 Michael Porter. Uh, Michael Porter, uh, better known as Professor Michael Porter to all of our students, um, he has earned uh, 158 credits already holding a bachelor degree. Uh, he is now being presented with his master's degree in theology, and then he is also being presented with his doctorate in theology. And uh, Dr. Fay, uh, before I have him say anything, uh, you, what, what did you like to interject? Well, I just want to say, um, Professor Michael, Professor Dr. Michael now, as we <laughs> call you, uh, I would like to also extend an award and appreciation to you. You've been very faithful as you prepared your, prepared your lessons. I've listened to many of your lessons. I have read many of your lessons. You're doing an awesome job and um, you've been with us for quite a while also. And we just appreciate you so much. And we want to give you also this plaque of award and appreciation. Thank you, yeah. Dr. Faye. I appreciate it so much. It's, it's certainly an honor as uh, Pastor Lynn said, a great honor to be here today with all of you. And, um, I really uh, appreciate it. Uh, we also would like to introduce you to our international director from Africa, Dr. Abednego Kamara, who uh, Dr. Michael just, uh, there he is. There he is. He jumped back on. Okay, good. Um, I lost all of you for a second there. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Uh, introducing you to Dr. Abednego Kamara, our international director from Africa. Uh, this is Dr. Michael Porter, uh, one of our professors. 
An honor to meet you, Doctor. Thank you for all the work It's you're doing. It's an honor to have you. It's an honor also to have you, Professor Dr. Michael Porter. Thank good, you. Yes. Been a good professor. Thank you. And I know that all of our students love you. They love your teachings, and we're so grateful to you for being a part of what's going on at the WBSU. It it is awesome. You know, I I just you know me, Doctor Bill. I I believe we're living in a in a new age. And a new generation of people are needed to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ from the right mm -hmm. perspective. And that's one mm -hmm. thing I love about WBSU is that we're presenting the gospel of Jesus from a finished work perspective, from a, a perspective of the love of the Father for all humanity. And um, we get an opportunity here to do more than just literal teaching we get an opportunity to expand it into other dimensions. And I think that's so beneficial. And I mean, I really am enjoying being a part of that. Amen. And we, we so appreciate you. All right. Thank you, uh, Professor Dr. Michael Porter. And uh, we'll be talking to you soon. Congratulations to all the graduates. Thank you. Amen. Uh, Dr. Faye, I've been talking with uh, Professor Rich Morton, and uh, maybe you should put his picture up. And um, uh, just in case he's not able to get on and greet the students, Professor Rich Morton, uh, he is such a wonderful brother also. Um, he is has earned 163 credits with WBSU, and 120 of those credits is going toward uh, his degree today. He is receiving his bachelor uh, of biblical studies today. And um, uh, so congratulations, Professor Rich Morton. And he is moving on toward his master's degree and continuing to teach. So we appreciate Professor Rich Morton. And as the other professors, I do want to say thank you so much for your hard work. You know, these professors work full-time jobs. And they take their extra time and their family gives them extra time to um, study and prepare lessons and to get these um, videos made for the students so that they can see their professors teach the lessons. They have lessons in writing, they have lessons on video, and some of our professors even have audio that they post for the students. I so appreciate their hard work. And Professor Rich Morton, we would also like to congratulate you and present you with an award of appreciation for being one of our uh, professors with WBSU. And, and Dr. Fay, uh, Professor Rich Morton has joined us. Uh, Am I live? <laughs> yes, you are live. Did I make it on? Yeah. Hello. So we brought you. We brought you on to greet hey, the hello. students and to uh, just speak the word. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, it sounds like. Okay, go ahead. Hello? Yes, you're with us. I can see something, but I can't hear anything at all. Okay. I can't hear anything. Uh, all right. So I've removed him, Dr. Fay, and um, I'm bringing on Professor Jermaine yeah, Thomas. Uh, Professor hey, hey, hey. Jermaine. Uh, it has okay. earned 120 credits with WBSU. Oh. 60 yeah. of those is going to the degree he's receiving today, his Master of Christian Counseling, and he's still working toward his, uh, uh, he'll be working toward his doctorate with his remaining credit as he continues to teach. So, uh, Professor Jermaine Thomas, Master Degree Graduate, uh, congratulations and welcome today, sir. Hey, uh, good evening or good morning. I'm sorry, <laughs> everybody. Um, I'm getting some feedback, but I'm right on that. Right. Uh, I'm getting some feedback, so uh, I try my best. Yeah, it's like a somebody has on their Facebook. Hey, uh, good evening or good morning. I'm sorry. So, yeah, let me. I'm sorry. Let me just continue. It, I guess it'll clear itself up. Uh, 
I just want to say congratulations to uh, all the students and uh, honor to Dr. Uh, Bill and Dr. Faye and uh, Dr. Bendigo. Uh, God bless you and congratulations. Woo woo, class of 2020. Uh, if, if I could just share uh, uh, just a, a brief statement. I'm sorry, let me just continue. A primary role of education is to equip people with the knowledge to make a positive difference in society. Also, education helps instill values, attitudes, and behaviors that align with those expected in a society. And as technology and the culture changes, the role of education evolves. Uh, the core purpose of education will always remain the same, which is to empower people with important information and skills so that they can be successful in the future, hopefully contributing to the embetterment of society. Education is a vital part of any given society and a community growing and advancing in general. Uh, and so if my students uh, are familiar, that's our lesson plan uh, from Christian education. Uh, and so uh, World Bible School University is affording those that opportunity and I'm honored to be a part of that. Thank you, Professor. And Dr. Fay, you had something else you wanted to say? Yes, I did. Um, Professor Germain, you came on with WVSU and you jumped right in there. You have not had any problems at all as far as you even you even taught and graded your own class the first few times before we got any paraprofessionals and you've done an awesome job and I am just so excited to have you as a part of WBSU as a professor and we would like to also present you with this award of appreciation. Thank you. Thank you all. You're welcome and all of this will be put into the mail as soon as we can get everything uh, uh, situated. I want to introduce you to Dr. Bendigo Kamara uh, from Sierra Leone, West Africa. He is our international director in Africa. This is Professor Jermaine Thomas. God bless you, sir. God bless you, Professor Thomas. Great man of God, great teacher. And uh, the students have been really been blessed. Thank you so much. Yes. Amen. All right, Professor, we will see you uh, again soon. Bye-bye. All right, Professor Rich Morton, are you with us? Uh, well, uh, I'm looking for me to pop up on the screen. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Yes, we have All you. right, great. All right, I, I can hear you now. We're uh, uh, getting our technology issues uh, resolved this morning. Uh, I don't know if that's that massive thunderstorm that seemed to come through all night last night, but uh, sure. we had a little bit of storm damage. You might hear a chainsaw buzzing there in the background. Uh, that's what's going on <laughs> cleaning up after after that. But uh, we're here uh, this morning with you. I'm uh, very happy to be here and uh, be a part of this presentation. I uh, definitely like to extend my gratitude and sincere uh, thanks to you, Dr. Bill, and you, Dr. Fay, for uh, your encouragement and inviting me into your family here at WBSU. I appreciate this opportunity so much to be able to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with people uh, all over the world who are actually truly interested, right, in yes. hearing what we have to say and looking at it and seeing if they can't glean a higher understanding and a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Christ so that we will all grow up into that uh, eternal truth that is true within us as our true identity. And I appreciate uh, being able to be involved in such a ministry as this. Thank you both so much. Uh, appreciate all the students out there. Well, let's go back to the part professionals first too. Without them, I wouldn't be able to be successful at this at all. So much, <laughs> much thanks to you for sure. And then to all you students who are engaged in this. Yeah, am, I, am I back? Yes, you're back. Uh, I appreciate it so much. So I uh, appreciate the, uh, the students and them, their involvement and their hunger and their thirst for righteousness and that they may know God through uh, his son, Jesus Christ. Appreciate this. What a great opportunity to uh, fulfill the Great Commission and go into all the world and preach the gospel, preach the good news that uh, God is not mad at you, that he loves you, and that he sent his son, that you may have this intimate relationship with him and uh, grow up into everything that he has destined for you as one of his offspring. So what a wonderful opportunity this is. 
And Professor yes. Rip, Professor not Rip. only did you become a professor for WBSU, but you've written a book. You've offered it to WBSU to use as part of the teaching material, and you will be using that during this next class. And we are so happy to have you. And in appreciation, we would like to also congratulate you with an award of appreciation for being a professor with WBSU. God bless you. God bless you, and thank you, Dr. Fay. And all of these documents will be uh, all of these documents will be put in the mail as soon as we can. Okay. All right. God bless you, sir. We will see. Oh, I'd like to introduce you uh, in the next screen to Dr. Abednego Kamara, our international director from Africa. This is Professor Rich Morton. Uh, God bless you. God bless you, Dr. Abednego. Much peace to you, my friend and brother. Amen. Much blessings to you, Professor Rich. God bless you. Thank you so much. Appreciate all your hard work and everything you're doing there in the continent of Africa, man. That's tremendous, tremendous work of the spirit and ministry that you're doing there. Many blessings to you for all of that, the efforts that you're, uh, you're doing there. Amen. 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 Thank you. All right, Professor Rich, we'll see you again soon. All right, brother. we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, uh, next we'd like to bring on Professor Rick or Richard as he goes by and Sheila Watts. Uh, are you with us, folks? I'm not hearing any sound. Oh, wait a minute. Let me try something on my end. Okay, let's try okay. now. Yeah, Hello. we got you. Okay. All right. Blessings to everyone. It's two for one. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, like uh, double mint chewing gum. Uh, two yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, professors, we uh, we welcome you today. We brought you on to uh, just speak a word of welcome and congratulations to our students. And then Dr. Fay has something she would like to say. Yes, well, we're so excited. We're so excited about WBSU. We're so excited about the students. We really love all the professors. We thank God for Dr. Bill and Dr. Fay and each one in leadership and uh, even over in Africa as well. And, uh, you know, this is 2020. And isn't it wonderful that the first graduation is in the year 2020? And we think about vision when we think about that. You know, I think about the scripture that says, I have not seen nor ear heard, nor has it entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. And so, you know, we are very, very, very excited to be a part of WBSU both as students and as professors. You know, we have pastored uh, for 30 years and we are so excited to just be a part of this, of people that uh, has like vision, hearing things from God that we have heard and we just get such confirmation. We, we bless all of you students that are out there. We thank God for the call of God upon your lives. Yes, and I, as we're getting ready to come on, I felt like, we have been like God, which we know, we know what Dr. Bill teaches us about that, right? Just a hair width different. But anyway, um, the eyes, the scripture that says uh, God, uh, his eyes went to and fro on the earth. And my husband and I have been going to and fro trying to uh, find a people to connect with, with truth. And so we know this is a divine connection. And students, the word says to study, to show yourself approved which now we know how to look up those words in the Greek and it means genuine. We want the word of God to be genuine yes. and applicable. And so God can be omnipresent in us as we know this truth. So we are so thankful. Congratulations to all the students. Yes. Amen. And while we have you on here, uh, I, I want to first introduce you both to uh, Dr. Abednego Kamara, our international director in our office in uh, West Africa, uh, yeah. and this is Professor Rick um, uh, and Sheila Watts. <laughs> well, great, uh, you welcome, you welcome, Professor Rich and uh, Ali. Welcome and thank you so much for the great work and the great teaching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor. Yes, it is. Amen. Dr. Fay. Um, yes, I wanted to say that um, Pastors Rick and Sheila were students all of this last year. They have finished their degree, which will be presented to them during the student um, 
commencement since you were part of the students for the entire year. Um, you have finished all of your classes and you will be moving into the master's degree classes. I'm so proud of that, um, that you've done that. And because um, you have worked so very hard and because you have shown um, true hearts a professor can have, and Ms. Sheila will be helping in the English department and she will be helping with the thesis um, for the students and um, Pastor Rick will be working in all other areas. And so will Ms. Sheila, she will be um, helping in the theology department. Wherever we need her, they are both willing to help and to teach whatever we need them to teach. So I appreciate that and I would like to for both of you uh, an appreciation, lack of appreciation and just say we thank God so much for both of you being with WPSU. Thank you. Thank you. We love Blessings. you all. Amen. Thank you, professors, and we will be seeing you soon. Uh, Professor Sheila will be on one of my shows upcoming in the first part of June. And so uh, God bless you both, and we will talk with you soon. Thank yes. you. Bye-bye. God bless. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye. Um, Dr. Bill, before you move on, I did want to say that um, it didn't get on the list because I knew he couldn't come on live, but um, Dr. Ron Tisdale, this is him. And we also have an award for him. Since COVID-19, I have not been able to, um, let's see, there we go. I have not been able to contact him. I've tried by phone, I've tried by messenger, I've tried by email, all different ways to contact him and I have not been able to contact him. So I'm not sure if that he will continue or what's going on, if they've had any disasters in Florida where he is. But we so appreciate the work that he has done. He's an avid teacher in the evangelism field, and he has done a great job at teaching for WBSU. So I do ask for all of your prayers that everything will be fine for him and his family. Amen. And so, again, thank you to all of our professors. Uh, I want to turn this over to Dr. Faye now as she presents our paraprofessionals and graphic artists. Okay, we have a little award here that we would like to present as I um, call you. I'll, I'll post up your, your pictures here. We won't bring you online this time, but we have some new professor or new pair of professionals that have started with us. I thought the students would like to all see our profession our paraprofessionals. That's a hard word to get out there. Um, this is paraprofessional Lisa Couture, and we want to thank you for helping make a difference because when we first started, we didn't have any paraprofessionals, and the, the uh, professors had a very hard time with trying to keep up with the teaching and the grading, and so we appreciate you very, very much, and this is, I, I've got to fix this here. Let's see, this way that way so I can put this on here and you can see her picture there we go that's Ms. Sure, and she is on many of the shows that we have online and she's always on Facebook giving an encouraging word to others I appreciate you Lisa and thank you for being one of our staff our next and I'm doing these alphabetically our next is Miss Leah Ann Crosby. She is a paraprofessional for Pastor Rick, uh, Rich, um, Richard Watson. She is the paraprofessional for him. Miss Lisa kind of has been a paraprofessional for uh, Pastor Richard Morton, but they are not assigned to any specific ones, but we try to keep them with the same ones because once they get used to how the professors teach, and grade and everything, then it makes it easier for them. So this is Miss Leanne. Miss Leanne, we appreciate your dedication to WBSU and what you've done so far since you've been with the school. Amen. Our next is Karen Daniel. Karen Daniel is very, very excited about um, being with WBSU and she not only is a paraprofessional, but she is also a student. 
and she has just started taking classes with us. So she is doing a wonderful job as a paraprofessional and as a student. And we thank you, Karen, for your dedication to WBSU. Yes. The next one, her name is Sonia McLaughlin, and she is a paraprofessional for Miss um, Sheila Watts. And she is doing a wonderful, wonderful job. A lot better than I am doing at placing these on this stand. <laughs> <laughs> but we appreciate you so much, Sonia. Uh, Sonia works as a nurse and um, she takes her time after she works 10 and 12 hour days to come home and to grade the papers for the students. And I so appreciate her dedication. Thank you, Sonia. This next person not only comes to us as a student who will be graduating uh, with her degree with the students, but she has finished all of her classes. She's doing an awesome job. And then she decided that she would even give extra help and she would work as a paraprofessional and she grades papers for Dr. Michael Porter and sometimes even for Dr. Glenn Hartline. And this is Miss Cynthia <coughs> Melton. And we so appreciate you, Cynthia, for all the hard work that you are doing for WBSU. And we say thank you. God bless you so much. She is also, um, I believe, the assistant pastor for uh, Dr. Michael Porter at Love University in either North or South Carolina. I think it's North Carolina, but I won't commit to that because I'm not sure. But um, yeah. you've done a great job at grading. You've done a great job at keeping on top of things. And we so appreciate you. God bless you. Yes. And it would have worked better if I had put you on the big screen the whole way through. <laughs> <laughs> um, this next person I um, have known for quite a while. He worked with me in another university that uh, we taught in, and um, he was a professor there. And he came to me and he said, Dr. Faye, he said, I would like to earn points and get my um, doctorate degree. And I said, we can help you. And he has been a paraprofessional, and he is earning points with WBSU, and he has earned enough that he has um, earned his doctor of Christian education. And that is Dr. Stuart Smith. And that's him. He comes to us from Alabama. And um, he has, um, he's not only been a professor at one of the schools from Liberia, but he has also been a paraprofessional now for WBSU. And he has also been, um, I believe he helps his mother as the pastor of a church in Alabama and he um, teaches there and he's just done a lot in his lifetime. He's also been a person that they have sponsored uh, students from all over the world. I think he's had many more than 20 or 25. I'm not sure of the number, so I won't say, but we appreciate you so much and for your dedication to God, Dr. Stewart. And we honor you with the doctorate of Christian education. And we say, God bless you. And not only that, but we would also like to give you a plaque and say thank you for helping to make a difference with WBSU um, in the students department of helping to grade their papers. And we say, God bless you. Amen. Okay. And our last but not least, um, is Miss Anna Watchell. I know a lot of you know her because she's been with us for quite a long time now. She was, I believe, our first paraprofessional that came to us. And she has done a wonderful job. Not yeah. only does she uh, grade for Dr. Bill, she grades for whoever needs it. I think she's graded for Dr. Lynn, Dr. Glenn. Um, I don't know how many others, maybe Dr. Michael. Um, but she has... She has graded like, um, I don't know how many you had that one time, three or four many. classes at one time. You had a lot. And then she hurt her ribs. So I had to take her down to not so many classes so that she could have time to heal. But during that time, she continued to grade classes and to work for WBSU. And we so appreciate you, um, Anna. This is uh, better known as Tenderheart. 
to a lot of you on Facebook. And we would like to also give you an award of appreciation for helping to make a difference with WBSU. God bless you yeah. so much. And, and that all of this and all of these will be put in the mail as just as soon as we can get all of this over with and rest a little bit in between. <laughs> yes. And we have one more award that is not yes. for a paraprofessional, and that is for our graphics artist. And her name is Peg Bowen. And all of the little signs that you see in your classroom that shows which class you are in, it says classroom. Um, and it's got the name of the professor and all of that on it. This is the girl that does all of that hard work. That's Peg. And she has done a wonderful, wonderful job for me, helping to take part of the load off of me. And she is uh, from down where Professor Lynn and Professor Rich Morton are in their church. And we just so much appreciate you, Peg. And we would like to award you with this recognition award and sincere appreciation for your dedicated service and outstanding accomplishments as the WBSU graphics artist. And we would like to give you that award. And if you've seen yeah. her on Facebook, you can see some of her artistic ability and she's very good. Thank you, Peg. All right, thank you, Dr. Fay. And just again, congratulations to all of our paraprofessionals and to our graphics artists. Uh, we appreciate you so much. I'd like to now take a moment to introduce uh, upcoming uh, professors that will be working with WBSU. Uh, we have uh, put on our first out of the USA professor, uh, Professor Frusten uh, Rebecca von Hasberg. Uh, she is a professor that will be teaching leadership classes. Also, uh, thank you, Dr. Fay. Uh, also, Professor Lynn, uh, Professor Keith Bell, uh, Professor Keith Bell is in Arkansas. He is already a school administrator for a public school system, and uh, he will be teaching as well. Thank you. I'd like to announce at this time also one brand new paraprofessional whose name is Pam Bunce, who is on Facebook, who it will be grading papers, who is excited. She actually lives right here in Joplin, Missouri. So this is our first local person to be connected to uh, WBSU. Uh, so thank you, Dr. Fay. And I would like to now turn uh, the meeting back over to Dr. Fay and Dr. Abednego Kamara for the introduction of representatives. Before I do that, and I know, um our friend and co-worker here in Joplin, Missouri, uh, Brother David Jacobs is um, not on camera right now, but Brother David, if you would hand me that envelope right there. We do have a card for him. He works so very hard and he runs all kinds of errands. He helped me to grade some papers when I was grading six classes at one time. I printed them off and he graded them for me. Um, he is just one of those guys that is willing to do anything there is to do. And I can't say appreciation so much to him. And I've got a card here for him and I'll just pass it back to him. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Brother David. Now we are going to uh, do the representative uh, introductions. And first of all, I would like to, Dr. Abendigo has been introduced. But I would like to say that when he came to us, he came as a representative from Sierra Leone. And he has brought four other representatives with him from Sierra Leone. Those were our first representatives with WBSU. And when he brought these representatives, he encouraged them. He's worked with them and he's told them how important it is to get out and to, to tell people about WBSU and to bring the students to us. And because of that, for your work as a representative, I would like to award you with the Class of 2020 Appreciation Award for your work as a representative. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Sophie, thank you so much. 
And not only are we awarding you with a, an award as a representative, but since that time, you have become our international director over the entire continent of Africa. You encourage people from, um, you encourage people from all over the place, from Sierra Leone. You encourage people from Kenya, from Liberia, from Rwanda, from... Um, um, I know we have another one on here too, uh, Cameroon. You encourage people from everywhere to get out and to bring students in. And because of that, we appreciate you so much. And we want to give you this appreciation award presented to Apostle Dr. Abendigo H. Kamara, International Director of Africa. Wow, wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> You're very, very welcome. And um, now I will turn it to you, and you can uh, read the names of the rest of our professors as they are on the paper, and we will, not professors, representatives, and I will present their award also and their picture. Okay. All right, thank you very much, um, Dr. Fee. Thank you so very much to our Chancellor, Bishop Dr. Bill. Appreciate you for everything. Next on the list, we want to introduce the Reverend Mrs. Edna Grant. The Reverend Mrs. Edna Grant from Sierra Leone. And she is also one of our hardworking representatives that is working very hard since she came to WBSU, she has been helping to bring other students and other representatives also. And we award and her next, with an um, We also want to introduce one of our hardworking representatives that is living also in Sierra Leone. And he has helped over the past year to bring in more students, especially from Freetown, the capital city of Sierra Leone. And he's no less a person, but Reverend Glory Lamin. Wonderful. Reverend Glory and Lamin. We also present Reverend Glory him. Lamin. Okay. Reverend Glory Lamin has been a hardworking man of God. And since he came, he has encouraged a lot more other men of God and other places to also come on board. He has even taken WBSU to the regions of Sierra Leone on a special tour. So thank you very much, Reverend Glory Lamin. Yeah. Okay, next on the list, we have Apostle Dr. Philip Insimao. Apostle Dr. Philip Insimao is a Ghanaian born, but based and work in Sierra Leone. Apostle Dr. Philip Simao is like a brother, and he has been so much hardworking, giving his witty advices and witty counsel, and to help other um, professors to do more in bringing other students. Thank you, Apostle Dr. Philip Simao. And congratulations and we also to you. Award you the uh, Appreciation Award, and thank you very much. And if we had a best dressed award, I think it would also go to Dr. F uh, Apostle Dr. Philip. I always tease him about how he's always dressed up so fancy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, next is Reverend Emmanuel Leslie Saxodeca. Or Reverend Emmanuel L. Saxodeca. Reverend Emmanuel L. Saxodeca. Before, Dr. Faye, before I give the microphone to you to say something, Reverend Emmanuel Saxodeca has been a great man of God. I love this young man. I love this young brother. I love him so much. He's been so cute with WBSU. Every day he calls me, every day he inquires. I mean, and every day he has to do more. One great thing that I want to say about Reverend Emmanuel Saxodeca, on his, he will use his motorcycle from the region where he is, and he will be traversing to other regions, to the south, the north, the east, on his own pocket, without WBSU giving him a cent in propagating and helping other students to come on board. Please 
unequivocally. Your voice, Doctor Ritney. Go. Okay. He so he's going to come back in. Okay. While he is coming back in, I will say, um, um, Reverend Saxo Decker, I would like to say congratulations to you and award you with the representative uh, award. But not only that, I am so very proud of you. We are giving you and above and beyond award and it says presented to reverend emmanuel l saxo decker star performer for your tremendous efforts you brought the most students to wbsu for 2019-2020 and we say thank you and we award you with this above and beyond award god bless you next we have Apostle Kenneth Ntungi. Apostle Kenneth Ntungi is from Cameroon, the central part of Africa. And uh, we got to know Apostle Kenneth Ntungi through one of our students who happens to be a pastor in Sierra Leone. And since he came to WBSU, he has been calling us. We have been talking and he has been aspiring to do more for WBSU. And we want to appreciate Apostle Kenneth. Him and, and, and one of his students came in the very beginning, and that student, I can say, has done an excellent job under his representative uh, leadership, and I appreciate you so much, and we award you also with a representative award. Also from Kenya. Kenya is one of the beautiful countries that I love in Africa. And uh, we have one of our hardworking representative there. I remember a few hours before coming online, we even spoke about the graduation and all the things. He's not less a person, but Reverend Barnard Luduva Mayugova. Reverend Barnard Luduva Mayugova from Kenya. And I appreciate Reverend Bernard so much. Not only does he have my favorite name because one of my favorite Christmas movies has a star in it and his name is Bernard. So I kind of think of that when I think of Reverend Bernard. But not only that, but uh, we had some students from Kenya who wanted to come and didn't have a good situation and he took up the responsibility of being the representative for those students and bringing them on to WBSU. And he has done an excellent job. And for that, I say thank you. And I also award you a representative award. Right. Dr. B, Dr. Faye and Dr. Bill, I want to say something very, um, much more also about this web. He's been a great man of God from the Republic of Liberia. We got to know him through our hardworking and astute representative, Reverend Saxo Decker. And since he introduced him to us, this man of God has, even though he has gone through a lot of recent times, where he has been committed, bringing students and even bringing his family to study in WBSU. He's not less person, but Reverend Brandy D. Ulubi. Reverend Brandy D. Ulubi. And we want to appreciate Reverend Brandy Olove has been doing great. He has been our scribe in the representative forum also. This, this man of God was also trying to get connected with uh, Bishop Dr. Bill so that his family could do something online because as live in Sierra Leone, we had scheduled their family to do a musical uh, and, you know, uh, entertainment thing for us. I don't know if it would have been singing a skit or whatever, but he had a time scheduled. And I know his wife is into uh, singing. She has degrees in, in music. And I just so much appreciate brother um, 
brother Brandy. We talk online a lot. And he, yes, his daughter, Sarah, is one of our students. And we appreciate that also. And we thank you, brother Brandy. And we also award you with WBSU Representative Award. I want to take my time, Dr. Bill and Dr. Faye, to introduce our astute rep from Rwanda. Rwanda is one of the beautiful countries also in Africa. And through this representative, we've got other representatives from the Democratic Republic of Congo. We've got other students from Democratic Republic of Congo, from Tanzania, from other parts of Africa. This man of God is so humble and uh, the despite is so connected with the government of Rwanda. The other day I saw him with his president. He's a great man of God. I call him an handsome man from Rwanda. He's not less a person, but Reverend Apostle Katungo Sibindiza. Apostle Katungo Sibindiza. He's a great man of God. He has a lot of relationship with pastors from Central Africa and from East Africa also. He made us to have even a representative from the French countries. And he has so much passion for WBSU. Congratulations, um, Apostle Katungo. We, are, we so love you. And I want to say something very special too about Apostle Katungo. Um, he is in our upcoming master degree student classes. And so what a lot of you may not know is if someone comes to us and they do not start out as an associate student, if they start out as a bachelor, there are 10 required classes that they have to take. But if they start out as a master or a doctorate student, then there are 15 required classes. Not only has Reverend Gatungo taken all 15 of those classes, but he has taken more extra classes than any other student that we have, just because he told me, I said, you don't have to take these classes. He said, I just want to learn more. And he has a heart for God. He has a heart for the word of God. And he takes these classes, even my English class he took. So I appreciate you, Reverend Gatungo, and I also award you with this um, award of representation for from WBSU. Over to you, Dr. Fay. Um, if you wouldn't mind going ahead with the name and everything and telling where they're from, because he is actually from Liberia but he lives in the USA now. <laughs> yes, for friends, I'm uh, from the USA. We and the reason I, maybe he's coming back now. So uh, we got okay. to him through we our Okay, we've got you back. So if you would go ahead and introduce all right, all right. Uh, we got to know Pastor Prince um, from our representative from Liberia. And uh, in our representative group, Pastor Prince used to make a lot of salient and, and very much witty contributions. And I introduced to you, Pastor is from Liberia, a Liberian born, but he's a US um, based citizen now. He's Pastor Prince Minico. And Pastor Prince Minico, we appreciate you. Yes, we appreciate you very much working in um, the USA now as one of our representatives. And he has brought students here from the USA and they have started out in the associate class and they are working hard to um, get their degrees. They started late. Uh, they didn't start back in March or April where a lot of other students have, but they are doing a wonderful, wonderful job and taking their classes. And I appreciate you. And I want to award you also with this uh, plaque for appreciation as a representative for WBSU. Finally, from, from our representative list, we have from Zambia. Zambia is a great country in Africa also. A lot of wise people are there. And he's no less a person Reverend
Oh, we lost him. This is Reverend John Maleo from Zambia. And I have known um, Reverend John for quite a long time. Go ahead. Reverend John Malulu. Malulu, okay. That's why I had you say these names because I knew I would get them wrong. I was saying John Maleo. It's John Malulu. Uh -huh. Um, I knew him when I worked with the other school and he is a, he has a precious heart for God and he has brought us students from Zambia and we appreciate you so much, brother John. And we also award you with our representative award. God bless you. And that concludes, um, our representative awards. And I will turn it back over now to Dr. Uh, Bishop, Dr. Bill Hanshu for your commencement speech for our students. And I will say that we tried to get music so that we could play the official walk song for the students as we present their names and pictures, but we couldn't get it to work with the program. So uh, I apologize for that. Thank you, Dr. Faye Hanshu and Dr. Bidnigo Kamara for uh, all of these presentations and especially the pronunciation of names, uh, we're very grateful. Uh, I just want to say again to all of our representatives, uh, Dr. Abednego, uh, for all of our representatives, for all of our professors and paraprofessionals, uh, we could not do this without you and we're very grateful to you. So uh, I want to uh, address our student body today saying welcome class of 2020. First of all, I'd like to say a big congratulations to all of our WVSU congratulating class from around the world. As you know, we had planned to hold two public graduations, one in Joplin, Missouri, and the other in Sierra Leone, West Africa. However, today we are doing the next best thing to being there in person, which is to present this live video broadcast for all to watch not only as the founder of WBSU, but also as a professor, I try to make sure that I close each week's lesson in my classes with this statement. Just because you've never possibly heard something said the way I have taught you in this lesson does not make it false or fake. It simply means you have never heard it that way before. As students, of a learning institution, of any learning institution, it is always good to challenge yourself with something you have never heard before. As graduates of WBSU, I know you have worked hard over the past year to get your lesson studied as presented by your professors. And then you have taken the opportunity uh, the appropriate exams so that you could achieve the success you are being honored for today. You have earned the right of passage to move from one degree level to the next. So as the governing body of WBSU, we are filled with joy and pride as you graduate today in the degree study you have entered. Some people wonder about the importance of studying theology or various other biblical disciplines or even the need to study at in a college at all. Well, each of us, Trust Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth. John chapter 1, verse 1 in the New King James Version says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the very same verse from the Passion Translation says, In the very beginning, the living expression was already there, and the living expression was with God, yet fully God. I'd like to read to you now from Colossians chapter 1, verse 17 in the Passion Translation. And it says, he existed before anything was made, and now everything finds completion in him. And real quickly, the same verse in the Message Bible says, he was there before any of it came into existence and holds all things uh, together right up to this moment. Therefore, Father God holds all things together according to his eternal plan, and all things work in you according to his eternal plan. As each of you enrolled in WBSU, you brought with you your own belief system, which allowed it to be challenged through the lectures given by each professor you studied under. 
you have heard scripture presented in a new and fresh way, enabling you to embrace the knowledge of the Father's mind in ways you may have never thought before. Romans 13, verse 2 in the Passion Translation says, So to resist authority is to resist the divine order of God, which results in severe consequences. Now, while this passage speaks of our relationship to civil authorities, still, you have submitted yourself to God, even as you have opened your mind to hear truth presented to you. Our Creator Father is so awesome at organizing the divine order of our lives, even if we are not paying attention. So as Dr. Fay and I began to organize WBSU, we founded it upon a concept out of the Father's mind. <laughs> the foundational belief of WBSU is Father God's unconditional love for all his creation. What becomes hard for each of us is that, uh, as earth dwellers, is the fact that all people are the creation of God. Now, here's the thing. Some of his creation are those who live within the confines of the original intent of our creator, of whom you might say they serve God with all their hearts. Yet there are others who, of his creation who are still trying to find and figure out their purpose and meaning for their existence. You see, love is the foundation for all things. Love is the proper interpretive <clears throat> lens all scripture and that is why in our world today we need good ministers and good bible teachers we need ministers who not only see value in standing in the pulpit of a church building but also those who remain committed to god's word even in places of business governmental positions and especially in the home where father's love remains as the foundation for all things we believe the gospel must be delivered in honesty and simplicity, no matter what's going on in our world. Its relevance to any situation or crisis must be demonstrated. It is important that we address the issues that are driving people away from the knowledge of the eternal Christ and meet them where they are, even in a busy moment that their lives are in at this time. As the graduating class of 2020, you have been equipped with a greater understanding of who God is and how to interpret his mind from the scriptures. Some of you may remember my course on the principles of biblical interpretation. So we've learned those things and we learned what Father God thinks about you. As and most of all, you have gained a greater understanding of how our creator father is the ultimate role model for how any father would always love their children, no matter what. Here at WBSU, Dr. Fay and I are proud of each one of you who have studied with us over the past year. And I think I can speak for all of our professors and say that we have enjoyed teaching you to the best of our ability. So as you move forward into your next degree study, you have been enlightened with a greater level of the knowledge of God. And as you move forward in your individual ministries, keep in mind that the concepts and principles you have been taught here, we, uh, which we hope have impacted your thinking uh, as you approach a new and fresh experience of the revelation of the Father's mind. 1 John 2, verse 20 in the Passion Translation says, But the Holy One has anointed you, and you know the truth. You might recognize that scripture from the King James Version that says, You have an unction from the Holy One, and you know all things. Well, this can be translated to read, You have the capacity to know all things. Literally, you have the capacity to know everything in the Father's mind. Therefore, even as the Apostle Paul charged his son in the faith, I also charge you to keep the vision of pursuing the knowledge of God, just as this charge was given to Timothy, to let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. In closing, I want to mention 
that you are the city of our God, the dwelling place, the habitation of our God, the heavenly Jerusalem. And you are not only the habitation of the Lord, but you are at one who cohabits as one with him and exists to bring a living testimony that reflects God's character and nature. With the training you have received at WBSU, may God truly inspire you as one of the many membered body of the one who are his true and faithful witnesses. So I encourage you to continue to be a good learner every moment of your life. And once again, congratulations, class of 2020. I would now like to turn uh, this over to Dr. Fay and Dr. Bendigo. Thank you, Bishop Dr. Bill. What an encouraging word that was for our students. Um, I would like to uh, mention before we get started with our class that we have four graduating areas. We have our associate, we have our um, Bachelor of Biblical Studies, our Bachelor of Ministry, and our Bachelor of Theology. As we end each degree, we will be giving out an award for the student with the highest GPA um, average. Yeah, so so after does. all the students have been given their award, then we will tell which student had that highest grade point average in that class. So I will start off with the first student, Dr. Bendigo, and that is our Canadian student, uh, Linda Routley Babcock. And maybe we should wait until after all of them to congratulate all of them. Our next one, you can go ahead and pronounce the names for the rest if, if, as long as they are uh, the students that you, you can do. All right, next there is, I um, want to congratulate Nkugi Joseph. Nkugi Joseph. Nkugi Joseph. Okay, we've got to get this setting so that we can see. Okay, there we go. All right, yeah. Joseph, congratulations to you. The next is um, uh, Emmanuel Kumenjeri. Emmanuel. Congratulations to you, Emmanuel. And he comes to us from Austria. Really? Yes. And out of our three associate graduating students, our highest 4.0 GPA, we award the Certificate of Outstanding Academic Excellence in the Associate Degree Program to Miss Linda Babcock-Routley. That's a very big honor because she had the highest grade of the associate class. Now we move on to our um, Bachelor of Biblical Studies. All right. First, we have Bangura Elizabeth Carty. Bangura Elizabeth Carty. Next, we have Blake Harold Samuel. Blake Harold Samuel. Next, we have that's Blake Harold Samuel. That is Blake Harold okay. Samuel. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, um, Dr. Bendigo. I still had up and I didn't realize it. Let's go back. Um, after the students receive their, um, their degree award, they also have a certificate of excellence. Uh, Miss Elizabeth Bangura finished all 10 out of 10 special required classes. I won't name how many they received, but this one started out and she received 10 out of 10. 
So we wanted to say that. Then uh, now I will put up the next. I apologize for that. Um. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, next is Aral Samuel Blake. Aral Samuel Blake to receive his Bachelor of Biblical but, Studies. Yes. All right. And his Certificate in Excellence. Yes. Next we have Alice Titi Coker. 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 All right. Congratulations, Alice Titi Coker. Next we have Elizabeth Davis. Elizabeth Davis. Elizabeth Davis. This is right. one of the mothers of one of our representatives, Reverend Saxo Decker. This is his mother. Yeah. And she is taking classes with WBS. Right. 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 Congratulations, Mama Davis. Next, we have Dumbuya Sati. Sati Dumbuya. Sati Dumbuya. Congratulations, Sati. Congratulations. And next, wow. Next, we have Aliu Edward Fofana. Aliu Edward Fofana. Aliu Edward Fofana. Congratulations. Aliu Edward Fofana. Congratulations. On the camera next is Salomi Fatmata Kamara. You can see her also here. Dr. Bill, if you would Salome. put the screen on so we can, there she is. This is the wife of our international director. Um, this is uh, Miss Salome and we appreciate you so much coming to WBSU as a student and allowing your husband to work so hard for WBSU. We love you. And we also present you with your certificate of excellence and you are one of them also that um, finished all 10 of your required classes. And not only did you get your Bachelor of Biblical Studies, but you got your uh, certificate of excellence award. God bless you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Next, we have Kuruma Elizabeth E. Esther. Elizabeth Kuruma. Elizabeth Kuruma. Elizabeth Kuruma. Next, we have Safi Gatrut Kuruma. Safi Gatrut Kuruma. That's it. She is glorious umu lam this is the wife Glory, I mean, dr phil back to you this is the uh, wife of one of our representatives uh pastor glory layman this is his wife miss glorious umu layman and we so appreciate having you also she also um on her excellence award received a 10 out of 10 on her classes that she took plus all of her degree classes for getting her bachelor's degree next we have cecilia kati marsh cecilia k marsh cecilia k marsh congratulations cecilia k marsh Congratulations. Next, we have Ernest Kalawa Sandi. Ernest Kalawa Sandi. Ernest Kalawa Sandi. That's the one I And also, we have Brandy D. Wulova. And we showed his picture um, as a representative. We don't have it. Hand, um, we don't have it handy right now, but we did. Um, okay, but we showed you earlier, and he also received his certificate of excellence. Thank you, Reverend Brandy. Congratulations! Congratulations! We are proud of you. So proud of you. 
Okay, I want to say this is the um, this is all of the students that we had in our uh, Bachelor of Biblical Studies group, and I will award our Certificate of Outstanding Academic Excellence in the Bachelor of Biblical Studies degree program, and that goes to this person right here. I will pronounce the name, and then you can correct me, Dr. Abendigo. I say Alu Edward Fofana. And right. he got a 4.0, I'm sorry, he got a 3.9, uh, had the highest grade of all of the um, Bachelor of Biblical Study students. We say thank God bless you for that. Uh, Aliu, Aliu Edward Fofana, Aliu Edward Fofana, congratulations. Now we go into the biblical, uh, the Bachelor of Ministry students. We have Alusain Alu Conte, Alusain Alu Conte. Alusain Alu Conte, congratulations. Our next one is a USA student. His name is Brandon M. Gates. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and the next one is his uh, precious wife, Melinda K. Gates. Congratulations. Congratulations. And now back to you, Dr. Kamara. Next, next we have Alfred Good News Kamara. Alfred Good News Kamara. We have Hassan E. Kamara. Hassan E. Kamara. Hassan E. Kamara, congratulations. We have Hassanatu Kamara, Hassanatu Kamara. These people have my names, both of them, Hassan and Hassanatu. Congratulations yeah. to you guys. <laughs> Congratulations, Hassanatu Kamara. And we have David Kanobo. David, is it Kagbo? It should have been Kagbo there, but Kanobo is what I saw. David, congratulations. I will say if any of these David. have your name spelled wrong, let me know and I will fix them before I mail them. Yeah, it should, it should, no, no, no problem, Dr. Fee, no problem. It should be Kagbo, but it's okay. And David, congratulations. We have Patrick Kanu. Patrick Kanu. Patrick, congratulations. And uh, Daniel Fala Lebi. Daniel Fala Lebi. Daniel Fala Lebi. Daniel Fala Lebi. Yeah, Daniel Fala Lebi. We have. Augusta Felicia Momo. Augusta Felicia Momo. Augusta Felicia Momo. All right. No, no, no. We have um, um. That is um. Uh, now that the one that you just put on is Elsie Moriba. Elsie Moriba. That's Elsie Moriba. Congratulations, Elsie Moriba. Congratulations, Elsie Moriba. Next. Elsie Moriba, congratulations. Um, next, we should have there Saxo Deca Gloria win winner. Is she the one? Gloria Saxo Deca. Gloria Saxo Deca. Over to you, Dr. P. What can yes. you say about Gloria? She is the wife of our highest bringing students, Reverend uh, Emmanuel Saxodecker. 
this is his wife and she helps to keep him encouraged. And we say thank you, Miss Gloria, for all of your encouragement to your husband. And thank you for your love for God and for WBSU. And she also received 10 out of 10. Everyone did not complete 10 out of 10 cl required classes. They will continue them in their next degree. But the majority of them did. And I'm so very pleased. And she did. And now I would like to present the highest um, grade point average for our um, bachelor in ministry degree. And that goes to um, our very own USA student from Tennessee, Brandon M. Gates. We're very proud of you and we um, appreciate all the hard work you have done. Wow, wow. Congratulations. 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 Our next, Congratulations, Madam our Gates. next Congratulations. will be our Bachelor of Theology degree. And at the end, we will have also the highest um, uh, students that we had in that. This is our biggest class, so it will take just a little bit longer, but be patient because these are very hardworking students. Those that take those theology classes have to put up with Bishop Dr. Bill as their teacher in a lot of their classes. And um, so far I haven't heard any complaints. They seem to like him okay, so that's good. Um, here's our first one, back to you, Dr. Abednego. We have Adai Mensa Augustine Quisi. Adai Mensa Augustine Quisi. Um, Augustine Quisi. Congratulations. Next, we have um, Ansumana Paul. Paul Ansumana Ali. Paul Ali Ansumana. Congratulations, Paul Ali Ansumana. That's him. Paul Ali Ansumana. Then we have Alfred A.F. Conte. Alfred A.F. Conte. That's him. That's him. Alfred A.M. Conte. Then we have Amadou J.M.R. Conte. Amadou J.M.R. Conte. Congratulations. Then we have John Binet Conte. Next. John Binet Conte. Next. Congratulations. John Binet Conte. John Binet. Next, we have Samuel Ndundoy Conte. Samuel Ndundoy Conte. Congratulations. Then we have, next we have Harry Cowan. Harry Cowan. Congratulations, Harry Cowan. Next, we have Silvanos K. Duny. Silvanos K. Duni. Silvanos K. Duni. Then next we have Eye Sinkana Ese. Eye Sinkana Ese. Congratulations, Eye. Then we have Festos Fama. Festos Fama. Festos Fama. Congratulations. Next. We have Festus Patoma Numa or Numa Festus Patoma. Congratulations, Festus Patoma Numa. Next, we have Kofi Gaba. Kofi Gaba is a great student. Kofi Gaba. Congratulations, Kofi. Next, we have Dauda Jalo. Dauda Jalo next. Dauda Jalo, congratulations. Next we have Esther Aisata Jalo. Esther Aisata Jalo is a wonderful student. Esther Aisata Jalo, congratulations. Next we have Rudingiza Judas. Jonas, I'm sorry. Would Giza Jonas. Would Giza Jonas. Congratulations. Him. Yes, he is. Next, we have Lucy Calon. Lucy Calon. Lucy Calon. Congratulations. 
Next, we have Amadou Bese Kamara. Amadou Bese Kamara. Amadou Bese Kamara. Amadou Bese Kamara. Congratulations. Next, we have David. Next, we have David Bundu Kamara. David Bundu Kamara. Congratulations. We also have next Unisa Moses Kamara. Unisa Moses Kamara. Congratulations. Next we have Solomon Tom Kambi. Solomon Tom Kambi. Congratulations, Solo Kambi. We are proud of you. Next we have Amara Kagbo. Amara Kago. Congratulations, Amara Kago. I want to pause for a while. At the moment, we have students with us here in the office in Africa, and he's our IT specialist, a police officer. And he's showing on the camera here. Next, we have John H. Hage Kago. John Hage Kago. See him now. Can you see me? Yes, John. Here yeah, is John. Thank you, Bill. So we, yeah. we welcome you and we thank you for all the hard work that you are doing for helping to set up the internet for Dr. Abendigo so he can be on here today. We appreciate you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much. And thank you to all the professionals and our professionals. I want to say on behalf of my fellow students, thank you, and we appreciate it. John works for the police department in Sierra Leone, and he's a wonderful student. Thank you. Next, we have Banda Joseph Kista. Banda Joseph Kista. Right? Next, we have Magnus Melvin Combafili. Magnus Melvin Combafili. Congratulations, Magnus Melvin Combafili. Next, we have Abu Bakar Kuruma. Abu Bakar Kuruma. Abu Bakar Kuruma, congratulations. And then there's a student here with us. Also, he's a, he works for the police officer. And he's here. He's Abdul. Is Grant Abdul Koruma. Grant Abdul Koruma is here. He's watching the program live. Welcome, Grant. We are so happy to see you here. And we thank you for all of your hard work with the police department and with WBSU. You're an excellent student. You also are one who have completed 10 out of 10 required classes. So we award you that. Do you have anything you would like to say? Okay, okay. Uh, we thank you very much for the day we are long waiting for. We appreciate you all. May God bless you all. If personal. May God continue to increase your knowledge, wisdom to do more so that we can gain souls for heaven. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. <clears throat> Next, we have Emmanuel Lacour. Emmanuel Lacour. Emmanuel. Also, we have next is Bernard Loduva Mayogova. Bernard Loduva Mayogova. He's a great man of God, great representative, Reverend Bernard Loduva. Yes. Our next one is one of our paraprofessionals yeah. who has taken classes through WBSU and earned her Bachelor of Theology, Miss Cynthia Melton. Thank you, Miss Cynthia. God bless you and congratulations. You also have completed 10 out of 10 classes. Very proud of you. 
Next, we have Muxin Wisdom K. Let me put it in order. Wisdom K Muxin. Wisdom K Muxin. Wisdom K Muxin. Congratulations, Wisdom K Muxin. All right. Next, we have Edward Mukosa. Edward Mukosa. Edward Mukosa. Next, we have Asana Tumore. Asana Tumore. Congratulations. Next, we have Prince Shepard Mpawi. Prince Shepard. Congratulations, Prince. Next, we have Samson M. Nduku. Samson M. Nduku. Samson M. Nduku. Congratulations, Samson. Next, we have Joshua Santigi Samura. That's him. Joshua Santigi Samura is also a police officer. Congratulations, Joshua. Thank you Samura. for your service. Joshua in the Sierra Leone Police Department. Next, we have Mark Alpha Sankor. Mark Alpha Sankor. Mark Alpha Sankor. That's him. All right. Next, we have Habib Sise. Habib Sise. Habib Sise, congratulations. Next, we have Musa K. Sise. Musa K. Sise, congratulations. I'm proud of you. Musa K. Sise. Next, we have Emmanuel Moiwo Safa. He's also a police officer. Emmanuel Moiwo Safa is very hardworking. Dr. Faye, I'm proud of them. Proud of him so much. Emmanuel, congratulations, Safa. Thank congratulations. You for Next, your we have. Department. Yeah. Next, we have Gilbert Ofoka Tachu. Gilbert Ofoka Tachu. Um, Dr. Fake, can I just say a little bit about Gilbert? Gilbert is sure. one of our students that help us to have a representative from his country of origin. He's a Cameroonian born from the central part of Africa, but he's working in Sierra Leone as a missionary and as a pastor. And he brought, he has been advertising WBSU to his place of birth in central part of Africa, Cameroon to be specific. And he brought Reverend Apostle Kenneth. And he has been working very hard also to bring in more representatives for us from other side of the world. Congratulations, Gilbert Ofoka. Yes, we appreciate that. Thank you very much. All right. Next there, we have Paul Tagawali. Paul Tagawali. Paul Tagawali, we are proud of you. Congratulations. If I had an award to give to the student who has progressed the most, uh, Brother Paul came to us and didn't know too much about computers when he came. And he had a a hard time with some of the testing at getting us the homework and everything, but he is doing a tremendous job. He's getting them in on time and he's doing a wonderful job. And I appreciate you, brother Paul. Thank you very much for sticking with WBSU. Congratulations, Paul. Paul happens to be my son in the Lord. Congratulations. Next on the line, we have Cyril Momo. Tolly, Cyril Momo Tolly, Cyril Momo Tolly. This is one of Cyril. our students, I believe, comes to us from Miss Edna Grant uh, in Sierra Leone, and he is doing a wonderful job. He continually sends messages to Dr. Bill asking questions, theology questions, and he's learning very quickly. He's doing a wonderful job. Congratulations. We have... Elisha N. D. Toure. Elisha Nabiu 
D. Ture. Elisha Daniel Enabiu D. Ture is the head of the Sierra Leone Police Force Chaplain. Over to you, Dr. Faye. Yes, and I so much appreciate Elisha coming to our school, and he has such a hard job keeping track of all of those other police officers in his district. And he, uh, he, loves his, he loves WBSU. He's worked with us. He even got behind a little bit because of the COVID-19 and because he had so much work to do. But we allowed him to go ahead and send in his homework, and he's doing an awesome job. And I so appreciate you, and thank you so much for the work that you have done with the police department and with WBSU. Right. We have Ilam Ilam Ukumu Wam. Ilam Ukumu. Ilam Ukumu. Congratulations. And over to you, Dr. Fee. And um, the next one that we have is Pastor Richard Watts. He is one of our now professors. And um, he is also graduating with his um, Bachelor of Theology. Oh, I'm sorry. There, we didn't get his picture up. That's Pastor Richard Watts. And next is his wife, Pastor Sheila Watts. And she has also taken all of the classes required, taken her 10 extra required classes they both did and completed all of them. I'm very proud of them. Back to you, Dr. Kamara. Right. Um, finally, we have Ulova Sarah. Sarah P. Ulova. Sarah P. Ulova. This is the Sarah daughter Pee. of our representative from Liberia, Brother Brandy Wallabra. Congratulations. Okay, I would like to present our award to the highest uh, GPA students in um, the area of Bachelor of Theology. We had so many students in this area and they, they all did an excellent job, but I had to award and we had a tie for the three top places. So I just gave all three of those an award. And so for a, a grade point average of 4.0, one goes to <coughs> Richard Watts, one goes to Sheila Watts, and one goes to from your very own area, uh, Dr. Abendigo, uh, Brother Wisdom K. Moxon. Oh. 4.0 out. Yes. I'm so proud of all of these students, not just the ones that got the 4.0. I'm so proud of all of our 75 graduating students that we have here today. And that concludes our commencement exercise and I believe um, the next that we are going to do is just to uh, let you recognize our master degree students and our doctorate degree students by giving them a certificate of excellence for the 15 required classes that they have taken and um, we will start out Dr. Abendigo with the master students or with the master student, the upcoming master students. Upcoming master students. Let me get these off here. Okay. Um. Come, please come. They're on page two. Yes, John. John, the IT is here. Upcoming master student. Yeah. 
Okay, upcoming master student, we've got it. We have Bandigui Pascal. Bandigui Pascal. Next we have Charles. Charles Wanguri. Charles Wanguri. Next we have Jesus. So me, so me, so me, so me, Next we have Alberta Coca, Alberta Coca, Alberta Coca, no? Next we yes. have, okay, great. Next we have. We want visa, Dominique. All right. Next, we have Musa Muktaru Flee. Musa Muktaru Flee. Next, we have Jacqueline. Jacqueline Muta Bunua. Jacqueline Muta Bunua. Next, we have Joseph, Joseph Amina Mutunka. Joseph, Joseph, Dr. Fay, I, I want you to say a little bit about Joseph Amina. Yes. Um, Brother Joseph is also one of our representatives. He's working hard to bring us students. We have a few representatives who have not brought any students yet, so we did not recognize them with an award, but I do want to make mention that he is one that is on board working as a student as a representative, and he has several that he wants to bring. So it's just a matter of COVID-19 put a big stop on a lot of people's finances, and it's been hard for them to buy groceries and pay for for school, so it's just been a little bit slow. But Dr. Joseph, uh, Brother Joseph, is one of our fine students from uh, bringing students from the department of, or the the Congo. Yeah. I don't know exactly how yeah. you call it, but it's from the Congo. Yeah, yeah, De yeah. yeah. Democratic Republic of Congo, and yes. uh, he's he's doing well. He's do extremely doing well to advertise um, WBSU in that side of Africa. And next we have. Kamara Simeon, Simeon Kamara. Okay, Simeon Kamara. Is that Simeon? That's okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, is, is, is Simeon Kamara also with our Sierra Leone Police Department? No, 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 he's not, he's a, he's a bishop. Okay. Oh, okay. Welcome, Bishop. And we are glad to have um, the people who have earned their higher titles that like you have, sir, because I know that means that you have been walking with God for a long, long time. And we appreciate your hard work and your dedication. We appreciate you putting your trust in WBSU and serving here with us. Next, we have Albertine Kingabi. Alberta Kingabi. All right. Next, Anestisa Karigia. Karigia. Anestisa Karigia. And we have Samuel Kagbu. Samuel Kagbu is. Okay, Samuel Kabu works with the police. Um, he's, he's one of the hardworking police officers here. Thank you so much for your service. So we have, and appreciate it. This one now on the on the camera is set is set Kwesi Kuma. Set Kwesi is on the camera now. Kwesi Kuma. 
Seth. Yes. yes. Seth Quisi. Very, very hard. Okay. Next, we have Peter Edward Lamin. Peter Edward Lamin. Peter Edward Lamin. Then we have next Harimana Martin. Harimana Martin. Arimana Martin. Next, we have Aristos M. Museve. Museve. Aristos M. Museve. Next, we have Laurent Bukui. And, and I would like to say that Laurent is from Africa Bukui. right now. Laurent. He is living in Columbia, Missouri, right here in our state, and tra and work working with WBSU right here from the USA. Congratulations, Lawrence. Next, we have Vincent Bidari. Vincent. Next, we have Joseph Nkuruziza. Joseph Nkuruziza. Joseph Nkuruziza. Next, we have Willie Ntangunira. Willie Ntangunira. Willie Ntangunira. Next, we have Patrick. Bayangungu, Bayamungu, Patrick Bayamungu, Patrick Bayamungu, congratulations for next master's class. Next we have Ramboy Malalu, Mualalu Ramboy, Mualalu Ramboy, Mualalu Ramboy. Next we have our representative from Rwanda, Katungo Sibiniza. Katungo Sibiniza. Our representative from Rwanda. Katungo, Doc, is that is that is that Katungo? Next. That's Katunga. We have Daniel Sise. Yeah, this is this is Daniel Sisse now. That's Daniel Sisse. That Daniel Sisse is a police officer. Is next to, to Superintendent Elisha. Yes. Oh. That, that's Daniel Sisse. That's Daniel Sisse. Thank you so much, Daniel, for your it's service. Second in command. Second in command. Wow, you're doing an awesome job because I know all of you offered to give protection to us if we came to Sierra Leone and we were so looking forward to it um, other than this COVID-19. Uh, we thank you. Thank you for your service. Next we have Freeman Taylor. Freeman Taylor. Freeman E. Taylor. Next we have Jonathan J. Tengbe. Jonathan J. Tengbe. Next, over to you, Dr. Fay. Next, yes, is Trinita A. Tompkins. She comes to us here from the USA, I believe from the state of Washington, and she's studying with WBSU at this time. Hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay, congratulations. Congratulations. Next, we have Emmanuel Ofit Ingabare. Ofit Ingabare. Emmanuel Ofit Ingabare. Emmanuel Ofit Ingabare. Next, we have Prince T. Williams. Prince T. Williams. And that is all of the master, upcoming master students. And next, we will introduce the uh, upcoming doctorate students.
Okay. Kenneth Ntungi. Kenneth Ntungi from Cameroon. And Kenneth he is our Ntungi. representative. We appreciate all your hard work. And your your Edna voice. Did it gone. There you go. There you go. Um, Miss Edna is okay. one of our representatives. Our only female representative comes to us from Sierra Leone, and she has become a very very good friend. We communicate back and forth on um, on our WhatsApp groups, and I just love her. And I told her as soon as I get there, I want to hug. And so um, I appreciate you, appreciate you standing up as a woman of God and doing what you can for WBSU and for your church and for your ministry. God bless you. Next we have Marcos Grant. Marcos and this is uh, Miss Edna, Miss Edna's husband who works right alongside of her and gives her support, and we appreciate you also, Brother Marcus. Next, we have Glory Lamine. Brother Glory is also one of our representatives from Sierra Leone, and um, he's done a wonderful job for WBSU, for his own ministry, and we appreciate you so much. God bless you. Next, we have James Marsh. James Marsh. James Marsh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next, we have Philip Pakai Sakaibu Inyami, Inyamiana. Philip Sakaibu Inyamiana. I am so glad, Dr. Bendigo, I have you to help me with these names. <laughs> My husband laughs at me when I try to get some of them. <laughs> they, they, they are also troubling us here. <laughs> right, next we have Emmanuel. Decker. Yes, our representative. Emmanuel Saxebecker who has brought the most students to WBSU for this first year. We appreciate your hard work and your dedication, Reverend Emmanuel. I love this young man so much. I love this great man of God, Dr. P, Dr. Bill. This guy is doing work. He's doing tremendously well here. Amen. And he has and he has vowed to always bring in more students, more than every other person in the world, not only in Africa. He told me just some few hours, he said he's gonna challenge all over the world now. Oh boy, that's wonderful. We need some challenges here in the USA. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Next we have Abraham Felix Ture. Abraham Felix Ture. All right. <laughs> Abraham Felix Trey. And this is our next so one. Finally, we have. All right. Shad... <laughs> we call him the wise man. Because we don't know how to say that last name, and it looks like you, wise man. So we call him the wise man. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I apologize, brother, that you have a hard name. Um, go ahead and take a stab at it, Dr. Bendigo. Bye. Help me, please, Dr. Bill. Please help me. I can. I can. My team here. My team here. My team here. They are making my day. 
Uh, my team of police officers, Dr. Billy, you need to be. I have more than five police officers here. Just <laughs> basing this occasion. Why the matter? You why the matter? Last name. All right, they are helping me. Yes, the last name over to you, our police officers. Yes, <laughs> yes, uh, he has a very good name here, and we'll call it later. <laughs> we'll call it later. <laughs> okay, if, if you would not mind, Dr. Abendigo, quickly just go through the honorable mentions. We do not have certificates of pictures for them because they are not, um, they are not um, graduates, but they are taking their um, 10 required classes. So um, along with their bachelor uh, classes, so we just wanted to mention their names, if you would just read them. All right. Is Zerubbabel T. Akosa. Zerubbabel K. Akosa. All right. And next, we have Abraham T. Bangura. Abraham T. Bangura next. Next, we have Valicious Hubbard. Valicious Hubbard. And next, we have Francois Rokundo. Francois Rokundo is a Frenchman, is a French name. He has been doing well, Francois Rokundo. Next is Francois Rokundo. Right. Next, we have Henry Bangura. Henry Bangura. Henry Bangura. Henry Bangura. You just read their names. We don't have certificates for these. All right. Next, we have Daniel Boimer. Daniel Boimer. And then we have Manga J. Bungui. Manga J. Bungui. Bungui. And then we have Elizabeth Conte. Elizabeth Conte. And next we have Joseph Elijah Dumbuya. Joseph Elijah Dumbuya. And uh, we have Mokov Mokopu. <laughs> right. Next, we have Franz Mukovu. I, I put him on twice. My apologies. Right. And finally, we have Francois Okundu. And uh, I mean, success stay. Success stay. stay. Thank you, Dr. Faith. Thank you, Dr. Bill. You're very welcome. My police You're officers right. are here and they are, they, 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 they are just all over and helping us with the MCR too. Thank you to them. That's wonderful. Thank you. Um, I did want to mention that we have um, nine other associate degree students who are working with us that are not graduating yet because they didn't come to us until about September. And I did not get their names on here. But um, while well, we have Antoinette Duru, we have Joshua Freeman, Dearest Gay, we have Laura Ma Mamani. We have Brenda Line Mitchell. Um, we have Dalo Sejue. We have uh, Take More Tazai. Um, our worker here in the office calls him Take More Tarzan. So, and then our <laughs> one of our professionals, Anna Wachel, also takes classes. Uh, when she can, and she is in our associates program. So those are not uh, on the schedule, but we did want to mention them. So that is all 139 active students, and we just praise God and we say congratulations. Can we all give them a clap?
Yes, congratulations. congratulations. Okay, is, and that's your, are you finished, Dr. Fay? Um, that we are now to the uh, 11:45 part. The closing. Okay. So, so we're going to uh, turn it back to Dr. Fay. We appreciate all of our students, all of those that graduated with degrees, all of those that are upcoming in higher degree programs. As we have just implemented our master and doctor programs, which start June 1st. Classes will begin. So this also this next week will be a busy week. Uh, but. Um, uh, I want to turn it back over to Dr. Faye for her closing and thank yous, and then we'll move on from there. I know all of the students are very excited to get into your new classes. I've been working on that. Um, my help here in the office is helping me by getting the classes, getting the students put into their correct classes. It will take me a few days, but we will get you in there before June 1st and we'll have them set up. The classes have already been built. Our um, graphics artist has already designed them and they look awesome. So. We will be getting you in. I want to say a big congratulations. And if I was one of you graduates, I would just take my hat off and toss it up in the air because that's what they do. And that's what you can do. And if we was in Sierra Leone, I would just join you and toss my hat. But um, and yeah. here in the USA, we were going to have a graduation here also. Dr. Bendigo, I want to say thank you so much for coming on. We could not have made it through without you to help me with these names and the Sierra Leone Police Department that has helped you with some of them. And we thank you and we thank all the students. We thank all of you for watching. We give a big thanks for our professors, our paraprofessionals, everyone that is involved in WBSU in any way. And that means even just through your prayers. We thank you so much because that's what keeps us going. God bless you, Dr. Um, uh, Kamara. I think it's up to you next to, for your thank yous and closing. All right. I hereby wish to, I hereby, I hereby wish to express my profound gratitude to Father God as we are able to celebrate amidst the odds and a period in history which could not be easily effaced. Coronavirus is causing death all over the world, yet we are grateful to the Father Lord for our lives in keeping us to make this day happen. And may I, we, may I with a heavy heart of felicitations, express my appreciation to the founder, Bishop Dr. Bill Anshud, who deemed it fit to entrust the administrative running of this university in this part of, the, of our world. I also want to appreciate the co-founder and managing director, my immediate boss, Dr. Faye Anshud, for her mother heart, her love, your dedication, your hard work, and passion to see our people being trained with little or no cost attached. Um, at this moment, I want to thank, I want to say a special thank you to all our, to, to all our astute, hardworking professors, our professors and staff. Uh, it is incumbent on my part to be grateful to our graduates all around the world for making this effort in enrolling in this great institution of learning and by their action has made this epic making event spectacular. All protocol observed, to be counted, the past year has been challenging to students, especially those in Africa, but yet we sailed through victoriously. It is with no reservation and without apology that I want to say this university is worth attending. The insights obtained and elaborate work are like the tools of a great artist that eventually bring out is masterpiece. I want to assertively say to all who hears me and read the speech that we are going to see men and women of God of great valor because of this well, of this well design and structure well training they have got. At this moment, I want to say thank you very much to all of us for having this time and having this opportunity to go through this moment. And thanks to all of you, and thank you to us all. Thank you very much. Amen. 
And before you do your thank yous and closings, Dr. Bill, we would also like to say thank you to you for uh, having the vision. Uh, you are a visionary for having the vision to start WBSU. I know at the time you wanted to get it started, I was still working in another college and it was very hard to get everything done the way I wanted to get it done. But I want to say thank you in appreciation, Bishop Dr. Bill Hanshu, founder, chancellor, and professor of WBSU. We award this back to you. Wow. Thank you so much, Dr. Bay. Thank you. Bill. Now. <laughs> yeah. To my, to my and, and let me say this that. We have been so busy, especially my wife, working long hours uh, most every day of the week. She has been so busy putting all of this together, getting the student grade cards done, and then preparing to get students put into their new classes that I should have thought about this. I know my wife, and I know that she would have pulled something like this and got me an award, and I didn't get her an award. But what I did... Oh. Flowers. I had a, a dozen, what, two dozen long stem red roses sent to her just the time. Yes. This is much better than an award. Yes. This is much better than I can watch it. Yes. Thank you, WBSU. Yes. Thank that you. Is an award from, Thank you. Uh, and from WBSU. Yes. Amen. <laughs> So we planned a two hour graduation. We are just going to hit two hours and 30 minutes. So we know next time that it takes about this long. Uh, I want to thank uh, Dr. Fay uh, Hanshu for all of her hard work. Dr. Fay holds a, a bachelor and master degree and associate's degree in business administration, business management. She is a doctorate in theology. She is such a blessing. And I want to tell the whole world that's watching right now, I could not. Uh, every now and then when she gets tired, like we all do, she'll say, you know what? I may just turn all of this over to you. And I tell her, if you do that, there won't be a WBS because I cannot do what you do. And she is an excellent uh, administrator, an excellent managing director. And uh, she has been my wife uh, for 47 years. Uh, this January will be 48 oh. years. And uh, she, is, she is wonderful. I also want to say thank you to Dr. Abednego Kamara, uh, who is, our, again, our international director in Africa. Uh, we could not do this without your administration, your direction, and your, your guiding uh, people into places of being representatives and other students uh, coming on board. We are honored and so grateful for you, my brother. Thank you. Again, congratulations, class of Again. 2020. Uh, we congratulate you. Amen. Amen. Anything else, Dr. Fay? I think that concludes our ceremonies. Thank you for joining us online around the world for the 2020 WBSU graduation. We will either uh, be in Sierra Leone, West Africa next year and in Joplin, Missouri, or if they don't break loose, as they should, we'll be right here back online. So we'll be seeing you all very, very soon. God bless you. We appreciate very, God bless you. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you.